It's being called a first for Canada, a federal grant studying a chemical component found in magic mushrooms and its effect on treating depression. That research underway here at Toronto Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. At this point, uh, most of the research is very preliminary and we can't confirm whether these uh, treatments are safe and effective and how they actually work uh, and how we could actually adopt them into our clinical practice. A little over half a million dollars in federal funding has been awarded to Dr. Ishrat Hussain, who will study the safety and effectiveness of psilocybin on depression. It's been shown that psilocybin, uh, aside from causing quite potent psychedelic trips or psychedelic experiences, can also have therapeutic effects in people with depression. Uh, and this is data from, from small preliminary studies. Whether you need the psychedelic trip to have the antidepressant effect remains unanswered. That's what Dr. Hussein's study is exploring. Otherwise, the standard approach of just administering psilocybin poses major resource challenges. You need to really support individuals through that experience. They need a lot of intensive psychotherapy. Their psychedelic experience is about eight hours long, so it takes the, almost the entire day, and they need to be supported by two trained members of staff. The clinical trial set to get underway will include 60 adults who have been living with depression for at least three years and have been resistant to treatments. The participants will be divided into three groups. A third will get a full dose of psilocybin plus a blocker. Another will be given the drug plus a placebo, while the rest will receive a placebo and a serotonin blocker. That will allow us to determine, firstly, is psilocybin uh, better than a dummy pill uh, at improving depression, and also is psilocybin effective without the psychedelic effect in improving depression. The production, sale and possession of magic mushrooms are illegal in Canada, but there are some exemptions, including for research purposes. Currently, Canada has not approved any therapeutic products containing psilocybin. What this study will do is, is add to the evidence base. Firstly, uh, to tell us whether psilocybin is uh, uh, safe and effective uh, in the treatment of depression, and also perhaps how we could uh, adopt it into our current healthcare service and system as part of treatment guidelines. Dr. Hussein says they're giving themselves a timeline of three years to complete the study, after which the findings and information will be provided to the medical community and beyond. At Toronto's CAMH, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.